the meaning of it is just that you're actually feeling the gratitude because just saying the words it, well, it's a good step. It's not actually doing anything for you other than pointing out things that you're grateful for. However, if you are feeling it, then this is where the power is. And you start out with a couple words and you're thankful for this and you're thankful for that. And then you start feeling it and you feel it and feel it and feel it. And it's this feeling that goes out into the universe and it magnetizes things to be grateful for that then come back to you. So the, the actual practice of gratitude is doing it and feeling it. Now, however that turns out, if it's feeling it through writing in your journal, if it's feeling it by sitting with a cup of tea and staring out the window and being grateful, if it's feeling it as you go to bed at night and you're feeling the gratitude, that's your practice. Um, when you feel gratitude, it's as if your whole heart is opening up and you just sort of relax. And it's like, it feels yummy. It really does. Um, and this is especially useful when things aren't going the way you want them to go. You know, it's easy to be grateful for indoor plumbing when you already have indoor plumbing. And it's easy to be grateful for a roof over your head when you have it. But when you don't have it, for example, your kids are fighting and you're just grateful that they're the times that they do get along and you start putting this out there as how you would like it to be not necessarily how it is but how you would like it to be as if it's already done oh it's really really easy um, actually, I started this with my granddaughter. I was with her after um, my grandson was born. And my other daughter called and said, oh, this is going on and blah, 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 and I'm all upset. And I was like, all right, what are you grateful for? And we just started, what are you grateful for? What are you grateful for? What are you grateful for? And my granddaughter was listening and she was two and a half at the time. And then I put her to bed that night and she was like, I'm grateful for, and she's looking around my books. <laughs> I'm grateful for, and you, they start noticing what's around them. And granted, they're not necessarily going to have the feeling right away, but you've started the process. And then they start noticing things that they're grateful for. And she's now almost eight years old and just drops right into gratitude right, right away. And if um, another quick one is if your kids are complaining, the punishment is actually three things to be grateful for. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna like switch them, you know, it's not actually punishment, it's just redirecting. start doing it yourself and you start doing the gratitude just like wow I am so grateful that you're in my life because you add sparkle to my life or you point out to me what I need to still re release on and clear in my own life and I am so grateful that we have food on this table and I am grateful and it's like you start feeling it and you share your practice, not in a preachy way, just in an everyday way. Like instead of just saying thank you to the waitress, you went, I am so grateful for your smile today. Thank you so much. And you just sort of lead the way. And what I do want to say is that my third child um, had depression and anxiety. 
And when she was about 20 or 21, she came to me and she said, teach me what you do. And the first thing that I taught her was gratitude. And she started doing gratitude for a half hour at night. And if she's having a really bad day, she'll go an hour. Um, but now she just does it throughout the day, all day long. And she is the happiest person I know. So it really does work. But, you know, wait until they ask before you teach it to them. <laughs> If you are the light and you are the gratitude, then you are in your power. If you drop your energy down to the, oh no, I have to worry about everything and I have to micromanage everything, you've lost your power. So the idea is to keep your power strong by being grateful and full of this light because the cockroaches run from the light. And that includes whatever problem you're going to deal with. Shines the light on the situation. And part of the light is being grateful for the miraculous outcome that is coming. And I just focus on this outcome that is so miraculous that I can't even think of what it is at the moment. And I'm shining light on it. And I'm being grateful. And I'm imagining the outcome, whatever it is. And I'm imagining it's even better than that. And I just give gratitude for whatever this outcome is. I don't have to figure it out. I don't have to direct the universe. I'm just like, yes, I know that this outcome is going to be so fabulous and it's going to be miraculous and it's just going to feel great. And I am so grateful for all the universe is doing to bring this about. And you keep yourself there because if you are the light and you are the gratitude, then somehow the cockroaches just aren't gonna be there. They're gonna run away. And this problem is just a cockroach. The thinking is in the head and these are the words that you use and they do have a vibration and they do bring things to you. However, the heart are the feelings, and these are the body sensations that you actually get. And the heart is magnetic. It brings things to you also. So if your head is thinking one thing and your heart is thinking another, the heart wins. Whatever you're feeling comes to you. In an ideal situation, you're gonna get your thinking and your feeling moving in the same direction and then that's when things are like really yummy good <laughs> and that's when they move um i'd like to say quickly but um it's like everything just sort of clicks into place the next step happens and the next step happens and it just clicks when the thinking is one way and the heart is another way that's when you hit all the roadblocks get them together moving in the same direction and pay attention to what your body is feeling. And it's more than the emotion, because people label the emotion as sad, or they label it as angry. But what they forget to do is pay attention to their body and going, well, what does my body feel like when I'm sad? And what does my body feel like when I'm angry? And what does my body feel like when I'm in gratitude? With sad, chances are you're in and you're hunched over and it just feels like the weight of the world is on your shoulders. But when you are angry, you're like, ah, oh, I can do this. You're standing up a little bit taller. You've got a little bit more energy, but you're, uh, you're tight. When you're in gratitude, it's shoulders are down. <sighs> yeah, I am grateful. And it just sort of feels like your chest is open and you're willing to receive. And I pay attention to what you're actually feeling, not just the words that are attached to those feelings.
This is one of the exercises that we actually did as a family. And we put a large piece of paper on the wall. And whenever we walked by it, we wrote down what we were thankful for. And of course, my kids being teenagers at the time, they were like sex. <laughs> but I let it slide because if that's what they're really grateful for, that's what they're grateful for. And if you've got little kids, they can draw a picture. Maybe they draw a picture of mommy and daddy. Um, maybe you're grateful for all of the Thanksgivings that you've had in the past and all of the ones that you'll have in the future. And you can be grateful for the food. You can be grateful for the sun shining outside. I remember one Thanksgiving playing football in the street with my cousins. And that was a lot of fun. And I can be grateful for that. It already happened. I can be grateful for the things that will happen in the future football games. And it's so, it's a good practice. You can do more than just go around the table and, you know, I'm thankful for this, I'm thankful for this. If I've got a poster behind me with all of the things on it that I'm grateful for, everybody's going to see that. And it's something that everybody can do. Either it's in words, it's in colors, it's in um, pictures. You can take pictures out of um, magazines or off the internet and put those on sort of like a vision board of things you're grateful for. There's so many different ways of doing it, but the idea is to feel it as you do it.